kind of weird how some of the notions and thoughts that you have throughout the week on top of and underlining with the uh, overall philosophies you have in life can come together and form one great conclusion in one fucking minute. I'm going to try and fucking explain it to you in under two minutes so that I can actually upload this fucking thing. But I was kind of thinking about the state of the world, where it's going, the possibility of shit just crumbling in America and UK and Western society falling apart. <clears throat> Economically, socially, the whole fucking thing, right? And why that's occurring and how it's how it's manifesting. You see, it seems like humankind can't just make a plan and stick with it. And that kind of started me thinking about like uh, gluttonous people, you know, obese overeaters. And if you talk to them, if you ever listen to an interview with them, they, they honestly have this instinctive human, you know, really primitive drive that dictates that if they don't stop eating, they'll die. Like, that, 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 is, the, that is the notion. It's this instinctive desire to continue to consume and con consume and consume. And it's not just within obese people. You see that type of mentality in a number of other people you speak with in day-to-day -day life. Just this neurotic, like, well, if I don't do this, I'll die. You know, like, uh, n not necessarily in those exact, exact words, but... You know, they use this language as if their survival is contingent upon it, whereas we're intelligent beings and we've come across many, many conclusions on how we can peacefully coexist. The fact of the matter is, right, we, we, we need to steal life to, to survive, to eat, right? And I think it's bad enough that that's the playing field that we're on, <clears throat> but then you've got this underlying desire... This, this this notion that you need to take food out of other somebody else's mouth, right? And then you've got the the greedy, right? Which is you know tantamount to gluttony, if you ask me, in that in that facet. But they do, the the, the wealthy elite who can continue to consume the wealth and amass this wealth needlessly, like they don't do anything with it other than have it, you know. They spend it on you know fancy things to to show the world that they have it but beyond that they're still in excess you know they're not using all of it and they don't pump any of it back into the social structure into the social system and, and, and give to all of their fellow monkeys you know they, they simply don't and the thing is it's just one of those things where it's that instinctive primitive design that that i think is is the folly and this kind of started making me think about nietzsche in regards to superman and the, the next step of human evolution when it comes to morality the fact of the matter is and i think this is something that nietzsche understood is that religion would work if people honestly believed it the people who are writing out in the uk if you ask the majority of them if they believed in god if you believed that they were good people and that there's some sense of karmic justice within the universe a majority of them would say yes but based off of their actions, you can't really say that they honestly do, can you? No, they needed to be the ones manifesting their, their ill content. They needed to be the ones manifesting this sense of justice. They needed to take it upon themselves and take it in their own hands to do something that they felt was right. You know, to, to take back what has been taken from them, I think is the underlining notion that you would get if you interviewed a good number of them, right? You know, I mean, there's this criticism going about that there was just people who just wanted to cause chaos and steal shit, but why, right? Why? And <clears throat> I think if you were to actually investigate it, you would find out the reason why is because they felt that they were somehow balancing the fucking scales. And the thing is, I mean, beyond religion, beyond any philosophy, beyond any politics or constitutions that we write, it is on us to be able to forego our transcendent notions, our, 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 our egocentric notion that we deserve you know, that we must consume more than our neighbor because even though they're of the same race or the same species, they're still competing with me. And that, you know, if I don't eat the most, if I don't consume the most, then I will die and fuck them. You know, until we can surpass that, until we can surpass that primitive design and, and, and simply do what's right and, and, and manifest what's right for the sake of manifesting what's right, you know, not not for any gods, not for any kind of <clears throat> philosophical notion, but simply do the right thing and be the right thing, simply for the sake of it. We're probably doomed to die. You know, Nietzsche thought that it was the next step of human evolution, and I'm becoming of the growing opinion that our survival is contingent upon that. If if we can't learn to simply be better than our primitive design without having some kind of mythos or some kind of intangible excuse for it.
then we're probably going to be doomed. So, enjoy your extinction, fuckers.